Hi, Daphne Juggs here from WorkingForJugs.com and I'm going to do a quick video on how to download a video from YouTube and upload it to Facebook without having them flag it. Now, I don't know how this works on a Mac, I'm on a PC, I'm assuming it's the same. So first we're going to start in Mozilla Firefox. You can't use Chrome because YouTube is a Google product and they don't want you downloading videos. So we're going to start here in Firefox, go up to Tools, Go down to add-ons and when it pulls up we're going to type an easy YouTube downloader. Now right here, very first thing, go ahead and hit install and it goes that quick. So we'll go ahead and exit out of there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to YouTube.com and Here's a video I watched earlier. Now the thing is that you can't just take any YouTube video. You have to have the creative rights. So just in case the owner decides to come back, and if you haven't taken a Creative Commons video, and I'll show you how to get one of those, if you haven't done it this way, then you run a, run a legal risk, and nobody wants to do that. So let's search for silly kitties. Now, once I've searched for it, I'm going to go to Filters, and I'm going to select Creative Commons right here. These videos allow them to be reused and distributed, however. So, let's click on this first. Oh, I like to search by the view count as well. Videos with more view counts, obviously, are funnier and better content. So, here's one that's 305,000 views. So, I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to just pause it here so we don't have to listen to it. Now, you're going to notice one thing that's different, and that's this download button right here. This is what's going to give us the ability to download the video to our hard drive in order to upload it fresh from Facebook. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit download, and we're going to have all kinds of options. What we're looking for is right here, this MP4. So, we're going to go ahead and click on it, and it's going to save. And it's going to ask you where you want to do where you want to save it or if you want to open it, I just save it. This stuff goes to my downloads folder as it should for you. So here we go. Now, the key with getting your videos posted to Facebook successfully is making sure that there's no music on them. I didn't know this, I had to look it up and it took me a few minutes and a few different searches to figure out what the deal was. The first two times I uploaded the video it just immediately denied me and I didn't realize it was because of the music it has built-in filters I guess you could call it that catch any sort of pre-published music anything that's live so the video that I wanted had that Cotton Eye Joe song on there and I thought that they could track it back to the fact that I downloaded it from YouTube but they can't so what you want to do is if you have some sort of video recording device. Um, I have, we're going to open this with my Windows Live Movie Maker. I don't know what you have, you're going to have something different, but this is what I use. So once it comes open here, it's going to load this whole video and then what I can do is I can go to edit and then video volume and then I just turn this off and then I'm able to save my movie however I want. I usually pick the smallest one because these videos are crap quality to begin with and saving it in HD isn't going to do me any good. So, I'm going to save that and I'm going to save whatever you want to title it just so you know. You see this is going pretty quick because it's only a, a minute long. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of all of this. We don't want to save changes because I already did. Now we'll go to Facebook. Now we're going to add videos. Upload it, and you can see I'm not in my right thing, so I'll have to find my folder here and I don't want that and there's my silly kitty file 
So it's going to upload it. You can enter whatever it is that you want. I'm actually just going to make this to only me because I just posted a video and I don't need everybody to think I'm, you know, overloading with cat videos. So, silly kitties or silly kitty. I'm going to hit post. And then what it's going to do is you're going to see this bar right here. And it's going to fill all the way up. And once it does, then it submits to Facebook for approval. Once I get approval, it'll show up here in my notifications. And the shorter the video, the quicker it goes. So we'll just wait here for this one. And after it uploads, it will give us an option to edit the thumbnail. And, you know, if we decide we want to change whatever the description is, we can do that too. So we'll just wait here for a second. Insert Jeopardy waits, waits on here. All right, almost there. Okay, so now it says my video is processing. They're going to send me a notification when it's ready to view. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit close rather than edit video. I guess I could edit video now, but it's not going to allow me to edit the thumbnail. See that? So what I could do here is here's my description. So we'll do silly kitty. Silly kitty, and I'll just save it here. Oh, there we go. So right here, your video is ready to view. So it takes me back right here. And what I can do is edit this like that, or if I edit this video, then I can scroll through the thumbnails. Pick my thumbnail, decide if I want to add anything more, and then hit save, and I'm good to go. So I hope that this has been informative. It's a little bit longer than I anticipated, but you get all the answers in one place. So again, my website is workingfordrugs.com. I'm looking for entrepreneurs ready to take their business to the next level. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.